on Israel mayor sex scandal. You know what's funny from Bernie Sanders is the uh, JPEG of the cheesy font of the image of the article. That's what I'm going to send it to. The essay is called Man and Woman. So evidently, he was also kind of like a faux hippie scientist from Vermont, like in the woods, writing kind of funny things like sex cures cancer or I don't know. He had some kind of kooky ideas. This isn't like the only kooky thing he wrote, but it appears to be the kookiest. Oh, yeah. I mean, he definitely probably would have been a better choice than the other piles of steam and dog shit, but that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> but he was working for Clinton the whole time anyway, so. People get old. You want to know what also happens? What? Hey, asshole, you better fucking do this or this is going to happen. You don't, you don't think that, like, the CIA and intelligence agencies and all these guys are, that are really running the show are, like, above threatening the president or potential uh, president nope. or whatever, you know? Nope, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they probably have a bunch of dirt on him, too, if he was writing the... Uh, Pro rate sexual fantasies, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was like the most compromised election. With Jill Stein partying with Putin over there. From a hooker if you smoke and crack or something, you know? At the, very, at the very least, they got something good on them like that. Huh? Uh huh. <laughs> Special Operations Department. <laughs> It really blew my mind when I realized the British intelligence agencies were embedded with pedophiles, conducting pedophile stings. To me, like CIA's LSD brothels got nothing on pedophile brothels. And pedophile brothels run for political blackmail. It's just it's the like height of disgusting. Of baseball cards that I want. Yeah. He's got these, like, underground videos that I haven't seen. Uh, <laughs> collecting. Yeah. There's a time for everything. It'll all come out eventually. Oh, yeah. Now that some of that stuff is starting to have some blowback, actually. <laughs> I'm going to tweet this to, um, to uh, it's timesofisrael.com. I'm going to tweet this to Ted Wheeler and then hashtag the, the name of the city, I think. And then maybe sex scandal. Link the article, Phil. Yeah, I am. I've got it. So it goes, Israel's spate of high-profile sex scandal says about its culture. Times of Israel, Ted Wheeler... Hashtag. So it's is this like a suburb of Tel Aviv or something? Yeah. Okay. And uh, it's actually right on the ocean. It's probably really nice. But uh, yeah, the mayor also said that Arabs shouldn't be employed in the construction industry because they're a security risk. Mm-hmm. Wow. And all, and he talked about how they could be in all kinds of uh, different positions, you know. So he's, he's basically like, you know, racist, big, totally racist against the Arabs. And, and also um, Ethiopian Jews and all that, too, you know. Mm -hmm. They totally get all fucking beat up by the white Jews, you know. Wow, yeah. The sad thing, uh, well, I don't know if I should say this, but I don't, uh, I don't like, Germany gives me the creeps. I don't know, I'm a little bit part German, so I don't know, I just can't handle it. I don't, uh, you know, a lot of Israeli people want to move to Berlin now. Berlin's like the new hotspot 
Like, there's some kind of cross-counter migration of, like, intellectuals and hipsters and artist types. Because, whatever. I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's really cute, these cute Israeli chicks with their posters protesting the, the, the Isra Israelis protest outside the magistrate court in Tel Aviv against the court's decision to sentence a convicted rapist to community service rather than jail. The decision has sparked a storm of protest among rape victims groups and a Facebook page calling for the resignation of one of the judges. Yeah, I'm like, if you're going to be all like pro-Israeli, Ted Wheeler, why don't you be pro-Israeli rape victim against the misogynistic judicial system over there where you can't even get a divorce in Israel. You have to like go overseas. Ashkelon mayor arrested on suspicion of sex offenses. Ta, yeah. ta, ta. So, gosh, Ted Wheeler knows how to pick them, doesn't he? <laughs> Haaretz.com, Israel News. That's the reason they get... That's the reason I'm not allowed at City Hall, because they're like... You know too much. <laughs> I get way too much, like, shit going on. Yeah. And a pretty good shit stir. The thing is, is I've been doing it for a long time, so I know how to stir the pot, and I know, like, I go for the throat, you know, so. I don't beat around the bush and take two or three years and get frustrated. Like, the first time I went to City Hall, I called them out on all kinds of shit. Yeah. Talked about fucking homeless fucking serial killers that are fucking, you know, raping women and child pornographers and the Franklin scandal and the Franklin cover-up and how I became homeless. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, that's the first speech I noticed you at, is when you... Rapist. Yeah. Now in prison for 25 years. When you talked about the uh, Franklin scandal, I was like, whoa, that guy's smart. <laughs> What's up with that? I could tell they were like in shock when they looked at yeah. him and then they deleted and edited the testimony, you know? Right, right, right. They covered up what I was saying, like the audio thing. Like, that's a felony right there. Right. Destruction of public records, you know. Right, right, right. All that shit, all that shit will totally help my case because I'm gonna. I I kind of gave up on this idea, like suing them for every little fucking thing, you know. Ita Marshamoni. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ita I'm just gonna do a big thing, and I might even get like a couple other people in on it and make it a class action lawsuit. To yeah. I might just do my own thing with like a, just shows the pattern of harassment for like almost 15 years straight, you know? Uh-huh. Wow. Times of Israel, Ted Wheeler, PDX, Ashkelon, Mimi G, PDX, Itamar Shimoni. So I'm thinking I'll go Itamar Shimoni, me too. Because that links it back into the Harvey Weinstein thing. Is that you or not? What's that? Okay. How's it going? Yeah. 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 Maybe I'm hallucinating. No shit. Oh my god, I thought someone knocked on my door. Right on. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kinda, yeah, I've been kind of hanging out and not doing much. Except uh, hanging from my. Uh, my little, uh, house instigating from home, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling like a huge amount of hermiting coming on. Like, I don't want to go deal with anybody at all, even including at the grocery store. Oh, actually, I, I have to go at three. I'm going to go get some food. Because uh, my food bank's going to clean out their f freezer, and I'm going to eat for free all weekend off it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got tofu and veggies, sometimes peaches. It's like, so I'm like, 
Ted Wheeler, support Israeli Ashkelon mayor's rape victims, PDS. Itamar Shimoni. <laughs> yeah, Nick Fish was talking about his bucket list at the city hall this week. I was like, yeah, make it, bitch. Did you see that at all? No, I've been out of it. Yeah. He was talking about how he's never been to the Netherlands and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, that's where Peter Stoyvesant is from, his Dutch colonizer relative. But, you know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everything's named after in New 